What is going on, guys? I'm the Acra Agron, and we are here for another Overwatch game. Uh, this is a quick little King of the Hill. Uh, it's, you know, you can tell by the video uh, video length, it doesn't last very long, but this is one of my favorite Soldier 76 games I have ever played. So, we're gonna get into this. Um, uh, Li Yang Taras. Again, I'm solo queuing. I haven't had a chance to record with a group yet, but I decided since we had a support, I was just gonna play something that had his own little self heal. Something I could forgive, I could forgive myself if I messed up, because I have a heal. Look at that. Yeah, there's a reason Soldier has. Then Soldier's just solid all around. Now talking about Soldier, Soldier has one of the most balanced kits in the game. His sprint makes him faster than even Lucio and Speed Boost without the amp up. His freaking his uh his Helix Rocket gives him medium long range damage, no fall off, and explosive splash damage. His Pulse Rifle is the most accurate mid-range weapon in the game in terms of damage. This is this is the reason, though, that you'll see um, the Kree got a nerf. He got 10 meters reduced off of his, uh, his distance because Soldier owns the mid-range, and they were kind of taking that from him. But another, another thing I feel like Soldier kind of dominates is Soldier dominates the 1v1 game. Soldier dominates the one versus one, it's particularly just offense hero to offense hero. You'll you'll see it in this game. I'm constantly up up against a Genji and a Tracer and a McCree and a bunch of other stuff, and they're not what really gives me much of a problem. It's really the tanks and the defense heroes that give me a problem. I believe it's really the self heal that gives Soldier his his edge against other other heroes. Plus the mid-range helps too against tracers. All you have to do is track them. I'm not gonna claim that was a really easy, that was a really easy kill for me. Right here though, this is what I'm talking about. Tracer, gone. Genji, he can't really get that far away from me with his dash. I'm still effective at that range. I'm over here peeking around looking for something. Trigger the Zarya's bubble shield before she can get to the fight. Waiting here, get a little chip damage, and Tracer's down. Helix Rocket. Helix Rocket does about 140 if I last checked, so Tracer just kind of delete, deleted from the game. I do the attack visor here because I want to pick up that McCree. Didn't know if he had high noon or not. Didn't want my team to die. Just taking care of business. Genji got caught in the Junkrat trap. Just forget about him. Moving on to the Reinhardt. Reinhardt's annoying. Oh. Yeah, that's another problem. We get nano boosted here. Uh, I'm a little embarrassed about this nano boost. I don't get much out of it. I try. I get junk rat trap. I feel like if I hadn't got trapped there, I probably could have had it. Probably could have kited up the stairs, healed myself, fought that Zarya down. But not gonna not gonna talk about the if and the when. Alright, doing a little trick here. I've just practiced every time I roll out a spawn the rocket sprint jump. It gives you a good little bit of distance and height all in one. If I wanted to, I could probably cross that gap right there over over to the tower, but there's no point since there's no real team fight going on. We're, we're re-establishing one here. Take out the McCree from behind. Good splash damage. Aim for the feet if you don't feel like you're gonna hit anything. Just get away from the just get away from the Reinhardt only for the Genji to pick me down with a, with a little shuriken. He had exactly enough damage with just one. I should have thrown the heal down quicker and just did circles around it, probably. Again, just secretly practicing my little rocket jump. I don't mind. 40 health. I'll probably pop a heal on myself before then. Dodge the Reinhardt. Mow him down. Not not quick enough, though, to get the, uh, to save the Ana. So, no healing for the rest of my team. Unless they get into my bubble, which I try. I melee the bubble when I tell people to get into it, but some people just don't notice it. I know I don't when I have a soldier on my team. So I try and throw it on injured teammates once in a while. So we got the tag visor clearing the point in overtime. It's pretty good. It's a zoning. It's a pretty good zoning ult. Like as far as as far as zoning ults go, it goes like Diva's nuke, May, Soldier, the uh, High Noon. Because those are like the three ultimates where you don't fight it, you hide or you move. You don't have to fight. And again. Sadly, can't practice my rocket jumps and spawn. Can't damage myself here. 
so it won't propel me. Uh, the rocket jumps aren't too, too important uh, with Soldier. You can get up to some interesting places, maybe I'll do a video on that. I'll hunt down all the cool places you can rocket jump in maps. And maybe I'll do a video about that. Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? Alright, so I leave out this little side door no one knows exists, apparently. Uh, loose USB boost plus sprint, moving like a madman possessed. I like taking a higher up position right now. Again, Soldier has the range for this, and not many other offense heroes really do anymore, even McCree. And speaking of McCree, deleted. And now we can be the angle Reinhardt can't shield from, because if he shields us, he's dead. And there we go. Can't really... My aim is garbage. I feel someone attacking me from behind. Sure enough, Tracer and Junkrat both drop down. I make it my mission in life to hurt this Tracer. But she gets away, so... And I have no ammo, so I gotta reload. Catch the Genji before you can get to the health kit, though. So, I guess it works out. I just don't want them picking off my Lucio. Again, you see me pop down the heel on my Lucio. Even with, with his own heel, I just know Tracer can do way too much damage sometimes. And melee down the Reinhardt. Don't be afraid. Melee is such a powerful tool that I, I took... It took a while for me to remember it existed, even. But that extra little 35, 25 damage can really make the difference for you. How many times do you ever want to fight where you were, like, on 30 or less health? That If your opponent had just meleeed, you'd probably be dead. Likewise, to the other person. You ever fought someone that just had that tiny little bit of health? Speaking of tiny little bit of health, poor Reaper. Rest in peace, Reapy. You walked at a you walked at a full charge, Zarya. You will be missed. Yeah, meleeing is pretty important. I don't do it too much with Soldier, but when I do, it's to clean up a kill. I hear Tracer in the back line here, and I come to chase her down, force her recall out with a Helix rocket. She tries to spray me a little bit, does five damage. I know where she's going. She's going for the health kit, but I notice she kind of hides there, so I just. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't know what she was doing there. Alright, I'm looking for a good excuse to use my ultimate here. I'm, I'm not trying to hold on to it to clear the point or anything. I'm hoping McCree will do the same, but sure enough, look who I see up here. So I give him a hello. I give McCree the old hello. He gives it back. We're both waiting here. I, I asked the team about their ultimate status, share it all with each other. Me and the McCree both have our ults up. Uh, the McCree leaves, I too decide to leave because they're not coming, so we'll bring the fight to them, and this turns out to be a horrible mistake on my part. <laughs> yep. And our McCree doesn't really get any value out of his high noon, he cancels it. So here, here I am rushing back to the point. We are on overtime, they are about to take it back from us. So I get nano boosted and it's time to go. <laughs> we clear off the point, we're capping the objective. I hear a rip tire coming and take one for the team. I'm gonna I'm gonna pretend I took it for the team so that everyone else would survive, but in reality I just can't aim for shit. <laughs> so we're rushing back to the point, but it's looking like we got this unlock. Again, I practice my little rocket jump there just for the sake of habit. Pop my own heal down. Fight in your healing field, but keep moving. It makes you so much tankier and so much harder to hit if you just move. So I gun down the McCree in the back real quick while he's not looking at me. I know the Zarya just used her self shield, so I go in no fear. The Junkrat steals my kill with a rip tire, but I'm not complaining. We won. And then we talk about the play of the game system. I got a triple kill with my ult and a nano boost. But... Me killing that tracer. <laughs> okay. I guess it's... I suppose it is raw damage done. I did, I did kill them both just 100% me. 60, uh, 65 kill participation. Yeah, that is, that is one of my best Soldier games I've ever done. It was really just because I wanted to make this video. I wanted to show how Soldier works. He's a mid-range damage dealer with a lot of utility. He can support the team a little bit. Look, I got bronze healing. 
but he's also really good at being mobile and changing positions and always fighting for an angle that the enemy can't fight back from. And that's Soldier. Alright, I'll catch you all next time.